Hi guys, this is Rishab Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In this video, guys, I'll show you that how can you dynamically add form fields using jQuery, which you can see on the screen. When I click this Add Field button, it will ask for a label. So I'll type email, and then it will ask for input type. So I'll type text. Now it will be added on my screen, onto my web page. If uh, I'll click it again, then it will ask for a label. So I'll write password and input type of password. Now I can see. So guys, in this story, I'll show you that how can you add this dynamically using jQuery. So, firstly guys, I'll go to HTML file. Firstly, I'll make a button here. In the type button and I will give it a value of add field. And I'll give it a ID of btn. And guys, I'll create a p tag here. And I'll give it a class name of first first and I'll make a I'll create a form field here in type of text so firstly guys I'll open it in browser guys what will happen when I click this button a prompt box will be will appear then in that prompt box we will type uh, the label value and input type guys prompt boxes are used in JavaScript but in this story, we will use JavaScript prompt box. So, firstly, guys, I'll go to external jQuery file and make a click event for this button who has a ID of BTN. So, guys, I'll write BT, BTN dot click means when I click this button, a function will be performed. So, I'll create a variable here and I'll give it a variable. I'll make a variable name of label. Now I'll use J uh, JavaScript prompt box. So I write enter label. So firstly, guys, I'll test it. So when I click it, a prompt box will be appear and it will ask for label. Now, firstly, I'll add this label. So p dot first means it uh, guys we are going to use jQuery append function means it will select that p tag who has a class name of first and then it will append a p tag it will append a p tag at the end of this P tag who has a class name of first so I'll write label guys this uh, these plus sign plus signs are used for concatenation in JavaScript and jQuery so now whatever the value will be inside this label it will be uh, added appended after this P tag who has a class name of first so firstly check it when I click this add field so I'll write email now I can see has been added now guys we will add input type also so I'll write variable type and I'll make a, one more prompt box so I'll write enter input type now guys I'll use a if statement here if label and type means if these two variables have some value only then it will append it otherwise it will not work so after label firstly I'll add some extra space and then I'll write inside these two double quotes I'll write input type equal to firstly I'll close it so I'll write input type of then uh, single quotes in between these two single quotes sorry in between these two single quotes I'll write two double quotes and then plus sign then I'll write type here now whatever whatever I will give the type to uh, this uh, whatever type I will give it to this label it will be appear on the screen so let's check it in browser again when I click this add field button firstly it, is, it will ask for a label so I'll write email and then it will 
ask for a type so I'll write text now it has been added you can see now we'll uh, add one more field so I'll write password in the type of password now I can see a password field has been added to our form so in the same way you can add more form fields it depends upon your requirement so guys this was about how can you add J or how can you add form fields dynamically using jQuery so guys if you have any question in your mind then you can leave a comment below so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see you in the next tutorial